You talk about writing music since you were 13, certainly very famous when you were 16. How did, and, and now still looking absolutely beautiful and obviously extremely successful. How do you stay, how did you stay so normal and so grounded? You know, we see, you know, Lindsay Lohan and young, young actors all the time who, who haven't. Well, I'm not going to lie, like, it's, it's a juggling act to, um, to stay grounded in this business. And, um, you know, growing up, there's this weird thing when you start as a child actor or a child star or teen star that you're constantly getting praise for being poised and together. And so you can tend to mask a lot of emotional stuff. And at some point, like, the lid's going to blow off the pot and you're going to have a break. Yeah. And I went through all that. To a, now, luckily, I didn't go through it in, by way of drugs, alcohol, or public meltdowns. I <laughs> joked that I had my meltdowns in private right. in a therapist's office. But for real, I always took care of my emotional health, um, nutrition. I, I always went to acupuncture and did yoga and did all these, anything I could to wow. stay grounded and healthy. And it's kind of like that, that in and of itself is a full-time job. Like, if you mm -hmm. just think... Mm -hmm. I can just be famous and learn how to deal with it. It's, it doesn't work that way. It kind of you have to learn techniques in a way. And as I got older, and even to this day, you have to know that it's okay to say no to things. Like the industry people will work you to death. Mm -hmm. And they have a short-term vision for you. They're like, this is our teen star of the moment, and we're going to use you yeah. up and throw you out and on to the next. And they do not care if you are a whole happy, sane human being at the end of that trip. And luckily, my mom managed me, and she always said, I want a sane, happy, healthy daughter who goes on to have a normal personal life and kids if you want. And I don't want you to be exhausted at being burnt out by 25, you mm -hmm. know? And so I kind of learned um, to be able to voice that. Like, even now, if I'm exhausted, I throw up the white flag <laughs> and go, I need a day. And everyone freaks out for a moment. They go, We've got to cancel five interviews. And I go, you know what? They'll get rescheduled or yeah. they won't. But, you know, I'm certainly not a slacker, but I've learned where my boundaries are and how to balance it. And, uh, and I have a really good therapist, for real. <laughs> well, I mean, really, I go to, I am very on my own mental health yeah. because and it's important. Yes. Oh, sorry. No, please jump, jump in. in. No, I was going to say, do you think that with your generation, you know, the paparazzi, there was no TMZ and all that stuff, do you think oh, that it would have chronicled a lot more? Yeah, I mean, again, luckily with me, there were no major skeletons in the closet. Like, they would not have caught me stumbling out of a club drunk at <laughs> two in the morning because right. they might have gotten me coming out of a bowling alley with a Diet Coke if they were lucky. <laughs> you know, Caffeine, and a, and I'm a bad, shocked. And a bad outfit, bad shoulder pads, and, a, and crazy hair. But, um, but yeah, they, it's, it's definitely a time where, yes, your every move is under scrutiny and, you know, uh, Miley can't go to the local coffee bean with, in, in her sweats without being photographed, you know. I've run into her there before in L.A. And it's like you go, God, I'm so glad that as a teenager I got mm -hmm. to be a little more private mm -hmm. about, you know, yeah, just being a teenager. 